Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, public access to the R Toolkit follows a closed beta test last fall. Approximately 450 creators were invited to join the closed effect house beta. TikTok's guidelines prohibit our effects that promote colorism or negative stereotypes against protected groups or those which depict cosmetic surgery, such as lip fillers, or encourage scrutiny of someone's appearance. According to Facebook's research, so-called beauty filters prove harmful to a sizable percentage of teens. According to TikTok, 1.5 million videos using effects have accumulated 500 billion views globally. News source, Effect House, Dropbox Shop, which lets content creators launch their own e-commerce storefronts, entered the open beta phase. Creators can sell various content, including digital art, fitness tutorials, and educational material. Creators can accept payments via Stripe, PayPal, and Google Pay. Dropbox says it will provide creators with tools to track sales data and traffic sources. The company doesn't currently charge creators a transaction fee, although it likely will once the product is no longer in the beta phase. Creators will be able to accept tips. News source, TechCrunch, TikTok's augmented reality development tools are now available to all users. As of today, TikTok creators can visit the company's effect house to find the tools and instructions required to generate our camera effects. Our effect submissions must follow company guidelines before becoming available to the TikTok community. News source, The Verge 53% of U.S. teenagers listed Amazon as their favorite online shopping site, up from 52% last year, according to a recent Piper Sandler survey. Shine, Nike, PacSun, and Lululemon rounded out the top five. 71% feel the U.S. economic situation is worsening compared to 46% last year. 39% have a part-time job, and their annual household income is $69,298. Teenager expenditure will increase by 9% yi to $2,367 but is down from the peak of $3,023 in spring 2006. 48% expressed a lack of interest in the metaverse. News source, CNBC. UK researchers developed an algorithm that they say can detect depression based on a person's Twitter profile. The algorithm was trained on databases containing the mental health information and Twitter history of thousands of people. The algorithm weighs 38 factors, including use of positive and negative words, emoji use, and number of followers. In testing, it was 88.4% accurate using the Tsinghua Twitter depression dataset and 70.7% accurate using Johns Hopkins University's CL Psych 2015 dataset. News source, Technology Networks, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode.